Hi everybody, Julie the Whippy Chick here. You guys who chose red with the flex, good choice. I like it. I like it a lot. How's everybody doing? Um, it's freezing here. Well, actually it's one degree above freezing. Actually it's 32 degrees. Uh, no, 33 degrees right now and 33 is freezing. So I guess you Celsius people, it's just above zero. So maybe one, <laughs> one degree centigrade. Cause is it zero freezing? I think, I don't know. I don't know, they taught us the metric system, but it didn't stick. We're stubborn, we Americans. <laughs> we are stubborn. <laughs> so I hope you're all good. Um, it's really gloomy today and there was some snow on the ground and it was snowing like crazy when I drove into work. But it wasn't scary snow because it wasn't sticking to the road or anything, but it was, it was coming down pretty hard. So I'm glad that it wasn't sticking. Actually, if it had been sticking, there probably would have been a snow day and I'd be talking to you from my living room. <laughs> So I hope everybody's doing great. Um, today is National Mutt Day. That's M-U-T-T -T, as in doggy. So I just wanna encourage everybody with a doggy to go hug your pup today. Not that you don't hug your pup every day, but it's nice to have a little excuse to spoil them a little bit. Mine's been pretty spoiled lately, but he deserves it, so he's been through a lot. And my husband says I kind of talk a lot about my dog, so <laughs> I won't talk about him quite so much today. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting in, in the car and I'm really glad that my blanket's getting pretty big because it's actually keeping me warm while I'm sitting in the car. The heat is on in my car, so you can probably hear the low rumble of the car. But it's got to be done. <laughs> Needs must, as they say. It's chilly. And if I didn't have a little bit of heat on, I don't think I'd be able to crochet because my hands would be so stiff. So, um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, here's something. I have a problem, guys. I have a problem. I think I'm obsessed. I think I've developed Amagurumi obsession. Because today I put on my scarf and all I could think of was that fringe on that scarf would make great dolly hair <laughs> or horsey manes. All I could think of was how much fun it would be to use an amigurumi. That indicates to me that I have a problem with amigurumi. I might have to start another dolly. <laughs> That would be a shame, right? I'd have a little red-haired girl. Or a boy. I could do a little boy. Could still have red hair. That'd be fun. Yeah, so I'm kind of getting obsessed with that. But I'm, I've also discovered some good websites, not websites, uh, YouTube channels uh, with good tips and tricks. So I'm learning, learning a lot. So the walking crew is getting ready to pass <clears throat> getting ready to pass my car. I always wonder if they even notice me in here talking to myself. Keeping my eyes down. <laughs> there they go. Okay, now I can start looking up again and talking to the camera. I will say one of them was wearing a mask. The other two were not. But on a day like today, a mask isn't a bad thing because it keeps your face really warm. It's a good day for that. The wind's just a blowing. I'll leave some video of some naturey video of the wind so you can see. And maybe you can kind of feel it and hear it and smell it and <laughs> how, how icky it is outside okay um so there was some good news on the news today i heard that in the uk 
the vaccine has been approved for usage and they're going to start next week and I don't think we'll be far behind here in the states isn't that wonderful news oh my gosh we just have to be diligent for a little while longer guys just be diligent it's not worth your health you know it might be crummy to have to wear the mask and to social distance and to not be with our loved ones this Christmas but you know if we're diligent we'll be able to see them next year right that's the goal just to get through this so be safe and I'll stop lecturing you um, I'm gonna look at my notebook here because I wrote some things down that I didn't want to forget Yarn hookers. Yes, yarn hookers is going to be Friday. No, why do I always do that? Not Friday, Saturday. Yarn hookers is on Saturday. Saturday. Julie, whippy chick, I'm talking to you. Get it into your head. <laughs> Saturday night, live at five. Five o'clock Eastern time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and we are going to be at crochet, um, Hook to the Left, Hook to the Left, with Melanie. We're going to be at her channel this week, and we are talking about charities and crocheting for charities. And I have a Facebook friend, uh, one of my members of my group, and her name is Jan. <clears throat> and she always shows me the most beautiful pictures of her blankets that she makes. And I would say 99% of them, she donates to hospice. I just think that's so wonderful. I, I think she's great. And her blankets are so beautiful. And um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about different charities. Um, charities that you can look into and, um, you know, make some work for them. Some of your works for them not make some work for them they have enough work <laughs> no but I what I mean is like work up some blankets or hats or whatever that particular charity collects so that's what we're going to be talking about at Mel's um, for the first part of our program and then of course we'll go on to the silliness that we always do we tend to get silly over there at yarn hookers um, I also wanted to plug the yarn hookers Facebook group there's a group of us, group of hookers. So come on over, check it out. Then you can show us your pictures of all of your work because we would love to see it. I know I would love to see it and I'm pretty sure I can speak for the other hookers as well. And the other hookers would be Kate from Bitch and Stitches, Ginger from The Crochet Geek, and Melanie from Hook to the Left. And yours truly, yours truly, Julie, the whippy chick. So yeah, come on over and join us. It's a lot of fun and it's starting to grow a little bit. It's great. So we'd love to see you. Um, also, I have my own Facebook group called um, Whippy Chick Crochet Connections. And there are links to all of these things below. So all of the channels, um, for the yarn hookers and then our Facebook groups all of those are linked below so click on them come and join us for some yarny goodness and fun and I think that's it for those those little plugs and I think oh one more thing I was so excited last night I put up another um, Kinemaster tutorial video for a lot of my yarny friends who are either starting ch uh, channels or already have channels and kind of like the way I edit my videos even though it's pretty goofy how I edit but um, I've had some requests from people how do you do that and so I started a little tutorial series and I've done two videos so far and one of my subscribers kept saying I want to make a video I want to make a video and yesterday actually it was last night um, I got 
a comment from her and she said, I made my first video thanks to you. And first my heart melted a little bit because, oh, that's such a compliment. But the second feeling I had was such excitement. I'm so excited for her to put herself out there and give it a try. So her name is Angel and she's got kind of a long channel name, so I'll read it out. Angel of Dragonfly Crochet and Things. <laughs> I told you it was long. Um, anyway, congratulations, Angel. I'm so proud of you. And I checked out your video and you're doing great. So keep it up. And I will say with editing, it's a lot like crocheting. Um, it takes practice. Um, practice, practice, practice. So I'll try to keep the videos coming and you try to keep them coming too. And I think with that, I'm going to end this video because oh, we're going on 11 minutes, which is kind of long for me. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put some nature videos in just like I usually do. And you can see how cold and windy it is. And I will see you on Friday for some more car chat. Oh, this is kind of funny. So when I got to the park, there was a police car. And I pulled over next to the stream and got out of my car and started taking pictures. And then I got back in my car and I drove to another location and I started taking pictures and I got back in my car and then I drove to another location and did the same thing. And all I could think of was, what am I gonna say if that police officer comes knocking on my window while I'm doing my vlog? <laughs> and then I decided I knew exactly what I would tell him. I was gonna tell him or her, I shouldn't be sexist. I would tell that person every day, I've challenged myself to find something beautiful and take a picture of it. I wonder what they'd say. Hopefully they wouldn't think I was crazy. Hopefully they'd think that's a good idea and maybe start doing it themselves. So there's a challenge for you too. Every day try to find something around you that's beautiful and take a picture of it. Maybe keep a photo journal. Yeah? What do you think? Good idea? Maybe that'll be a New Year's resolution. I don't know. Give it a try. Okay, I'm really gonna let you go. I know I always do that. I say I'm gonna let you go and then I don't. <laughs> I keep you hanging on. But I really am gonna let you go. So, have a great night. I'll see you Friday. Bye-bye.